Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's the Great Patriot here, back with my league, episode five. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys the third game. This is the end of the first week for the regular season, so be sure to join the family. Hit that sub button. Put a like on this video, follow me on Twitter, Twitch, PlayStation, all my information is down below. So what I'm going to do is show you guys the game plan and catch y'all on tip off, alright? Alright y'all, we're back here. See Jose Carteron, we're already down 2-0. to zero. You saw the game plan stop Al Jefferson. So Jose Carteron tried to give it to Melo. Melo, they're playing great defense. They tip the look. Melo says, get this post work. Melo says, come on the post, get this post work. You know that's an A-plus shot. You know that shot's going in. Carmelo Anthony in this game is going to go off. And if you remember in the beginning of the season, if you did see that video, if you haven't, Please be sure to check out the playlist, but if you're looking at this team wondering what all these transactions happen, you got to check out that video. You see Lance Stevenson right here getting that trade ball right there against his, I guess you could call his former team because he did sign the contract for them, but he never played a game for them. You know, we traded J.R. Smith and Amon Shumper. We give it all to uh, Lance Stevenson right there. Put the nice finish in the jam right there. Lance Stevenson, born ready, Coney Island bound. Had this, as you guys know, he's from Coney Island. Grew up in Brooklyn, New York. And, you know, just playing for his New York Knicks team has given him a big spark. It's actually improved his game better, as he said before. So, as you see right there, little substitutions going on. Little cheerleader action. A little bit, not too much. But, <laughs> let's get back to the video. As you see Carmelo Anthony trying to uh, guard the inbound first pass. Playing great defense. And then we end up giving it just Marvin Williams. Again, they swing it over to Henderson. But they give it a big Al Jefferson who gives a nice two-handed slam. And that's the one guy we have to worry about because he's, like, really the only guy because they don't have Stevenson. J.R. Smith and Amon Shepard coming off the bench. So all we have to worry about is Al Jefferson. So Darlene's Noel is in a big battle. Maybe we got to double-team this man in the post. So we give it off to Melo right here. Nice pick and roll action to the paint. And he makes that nice, easy layup right there. Look at Carmelo Anthony getting hyped. New York Knicks team and Phil Jackson, Derek Fisher. This triangle offense is running pretty well. And look, see Gerald Henderson right here. He must have learned something from Al Jefferson on that play because I never see Gerald Henderson do that in real life. 2K, the bullshit's right there. It's in the pudding. Come on, 2K. Fix that. As you see right here, though, right here, Jose Calderon running the pick and roll again. They can't stop this pick and roll when we run these plays right. Noel gives it all to Moultrie, and he takes a jumper. That's not Moultrie's shot, and that's one of Moultrie's faults. He's a pretty decent rebounder, but when it comes to that mid-range game, he sucks. And look at Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Like, what the hell are you doing? Like, that's, that was even uglier than your jump shot. But look at Stevenson. Bulldozing his way through. He gets blocked, though. So you see Gilchrist now. He's taking it. Trying to go all the way. And Gilgris, look at that ugly jump shot. I don't know how in the hell Coach Calipari lets you shoot like that in college. Like, how, how how did you get away with that? Like, I don't know how. But look at Melo getting bumped right here. They playing physical defense. The pass by Melo to Noel. And that should have been a foul on Al Jefferson. That should have been, again, that should have been a foul on Al Jefferson harassing Noel. But as you see right here, the Hornets are having some momentum. They give it off inside, and we give them a nice foul call right there. We had to do that because we didn't want to let the easy score. So as you see, Gerald Henderson with the free throws, we're making some substitutions here. Makes the first one. And now we're looking and making some substitutions here again. Can Gerald Henderson make the second free throw? Can he do it? And Gerald Henderson shoots it up. Brick. Right there, we get Lance Stevenson, get the rebound. He going to push it. He going to throw up to Tim Hardaway Jr. right there. That's why we trade away J.R. Smith and Amon Shumpert. Check out the replay again for this for the fan. Later on in the first quarter, Marvin Williams. Melo playing perfect defense, playing that great defense. And he improved in his defense this year. 
now that we're taking over. See Corderon, we give it to Mello, give it back to Tim, THJ right there, Tim Hardaway Jr. That's what I'm gonna start calling him, THJ, Tim Hardaway Jr. Sorry, like, now I might not call him that, but that might, that basically ended the first quarter. As you see the beginning of the second quarter now, Kemba Walker, ooh, putting the moves on Shabazz Napier right there. A tough layup, as you know, he went to UConn, and that's what Kemba Walker does. Does those crazy, nice, acrobatic moves and shaking bait. But look at Napier. We told Napier, you gotta be more aggressive. Don't just be passive. Look at Shabazz Napier right there. The UConn brothers are going at it, Shabazz and Kemba Walker. And look at Al Jefferson. That's great defense, but I mean... That's just Al Jefferson. That's just a guy who's on a mission, who's going to score when he wants to. So, again, we have Nate Pierre. We kick it back. Prince Johnny wide open for the trace. And you already know what it is. I don't know. These teams don't know, but they don't seem to know. But that New York likes to shoot threes, as you see. Prince Yoni getting hype right there. That's what we love to see. Now, again, coming here later in the second. Shabazz Nate Pierre putting a little hoop mixtape, trying to put a fancy show on him for a little bit. Gives it off. Tim Hardaway. Ooh, bring that ass over here, boy. I'm right over there. <laughs> Tim Hardaway Jr. right there. Nice pump fake. Got Jokers up in the air. Look at Tim Hardaway Jr. showboarding. Tim Hardaway Jr. might be the sixth man of the year. That's what he's looking like. Averaging at least 10 points a game. Bringing that spark off the fence is what we need. See Gary Neal coming off the screen. They give it to Kemba. And see how we're sagging off of Gilchrist because we're trying to focus on Al Jefferson. Look at Al Jefferson. That's a stupid shot right there. A stupid attempt. Let me show y'all this Kevin Harlan soundbite real quick, y'all. Oh, here comes the Birdman. Flapping his wings and soaring for a sweet flush. When you're aerodynamically designed with that hairdo, you can do those kinds of things with that sweet mohawk. Hope you guys enjoyed that Kevin Harlan sound bite. He was going all because he's loving the bird, man. Loving that intensity. Put a like on this video for that, man. That took a lot of editing. It took a lot of hard work. But look at the ball moving right there. That's what we're teaching. No one-on-one -on -one dribbling. That's what Derek Fisher wants to see. That great passing right there by Nerlens Noel to Lance Stevenson and even before that. So as you see right here, end of the second quarter here, up by 12, running this nice side pick and roll. Stevenson trying to see what he got. Kicks it over. Jose Carter on pump face. Look at this right here. Carmelo Anthony wide open for three. And I'm going to introduce you, uh, the Knicks and uh, the Hornets. I'm going to introduce the Hornets to Carmelo Anthony. Number seven on that team, that his name is Carmelo Anthony. He's from Syracuse. Grew up in Baltimore. And he likes shooting three. And he's a knockdown three-point shooter. Now we got the introductions out of the way. Let's get back to the gameplay. So now the Hornets may learn. Look at this right here. Double teaming uh, Jefferson. But that left Kemba Walker wide open for three. We got to play up more on that if we're going to double team Jefferson. Gilchrist is not a factor on offense. But Kemba Walker is. We got to do a better job on that. Again, a side pick and roll. This is basically the play for the New York Knicks. It's just basically ball movement. But you see Stevenson's dumb pass. But look at Nate Pierre. But look at Nate Pierre, though. And, ooh, that's what I like to see out of a rookie. Taking a charge uh, against a big man like Al Jefferson. And on the other end, later on in the game, we uh, t we uh, get a turnover. Give it to Stevenson. It's a wide open look, but he can't make it. And look at Nate Pierre again. He's like, I'm ready. I'm ready. J.R. Smith said, no. Nah, you fool, you fool us once, mm -hmm. you ain't gonna fool us again. J.R. Smith, that is a smart move by him, the former Nick. So as you see later on in the fourth quarter here, see Carmelo Anthony putting the booze on people and, mm, Lord, don't do it to him, Melo. Don't do it to him, Melo. Oh my goodness. Carmelo Anthony putting Joe Henderson on a poster. Stop it, Melo. Just just stop, Melo. Don't, don't do it to them. Now you see if they have to double team him. The ball movement is there. We give it back. We give it to Nerlens Noel. Give it to Melo. Too much space right there. Carmelo Anthony. I, I, I tried to tell you, Carmelo, don't do it to him. Just, just don't do it to him, Carmelo. It's too deadly. It's too dangerous. Just stop, Carmelo. You're doing too much. As you see, they had to call a timeout. You see Melo getting hyped right there for the New York Knicks crowd. And that basically sealed the game. We won 87 to 75. And, you know, we're going into, this is the end of the week, actually, as you see the standings and stats right here. We won all three of our games. So, this is the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'm going to show you guys the stats for the first three games with the song by Montana 300, Try Me Remix. Check them out on Twitter and subscribe to this channel, y'all. Peace. I ain't playing with nobody. Fuck around and I'ma catch a body. Hey, let a nigga try me, try me. I'ma kill his whole motherfucking family. Put him on TV like the Cosby's. I'll be busting through your door like his Johnny. Got the shotty in my pants, walking like a zombie. Black club.
loves black masks when I do them grimy Everybody get headshots like an ID Follow niggas just to shoot them like the paparazzi And I ain't sparing nobody I pop up at his wake and kill his fucking aunties Keep that 40 right beside me, it's like we saw me I stay ready 247, tell them come and find me Kill you, they gon' kill a beat, that's a double homie I'm LeBron with the heat, Jordan in the 90s I'm the fucking greatest and mix the floors while they wanna sign me Snap my fingers, bitches on me It's like I'm Fonzie Need a bitch that's by the money Like Bonnie I got shooters right beside me And more behind me My two chains iceberg But you ain't gon' rob me uh, Make a gangsta lean Pop them like a molly We gon' leave it with the show Money and the body Shout out my nigga G-Boy Shout out the Dondi Broski highest palm trees Looking Chinese Shout out to my fans yeah.